Hey, what's going on people? It's Low Heat and I'm back with another quick machine tip. I'll show you how to sample your own sequences on the MK3, but you can of course use any other machine controller or even just the machine software. So you may want to resample your stuff for two main reasons. The first reason is that you may want to turn your MIDI patterns into audio to free up CPU if you've used some heavy plugins and your computer can handle them without pops and clicks. And the second reason, it's a much more fun and creative one, you may want to create a full sampled sound by sampling your own compositions and without worrying about any potential copyright issues. So this is what I'm gonna do in the video and I'm gonna chop the sample and create a quick beat. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you don't wanna miss my Ableton and machine tutorials. Also give the video a thumbs up if you like it, it will really help the channel. Please don't hesitate to drop any questions down in the comments. If I get enough questions, I'm gonna do a special Q&A video so I can give more detailed answers to you guys. And now on to the actual video. Okay, so I created this pattern by combining a couple of instruments and this is what I'm gonna be resampling today. So it's very easy to resample in the software, basically by just dragging this uh, icon here and you just keep the mouse depressed as it's exporting the audio and then you can drag it onto another pad or into another group. So I drop it here and it creates an audio device which is gonna play the sample as audio. You can of course convert it to a sampler by choosing internal sampler or like I said you can move it to another group quite easily but if you've watched my videos you know that I definitely insist on working on the controller as much as possible so now I'm gonna show you how to do it with the controller okay so I want to resample to group C I go to group C choose which pad I want to resample to pad 1 press sampling and as an input source I select internal and as an input I choose the group that I want to resample from, so you can resample from the master or from any group that you have in the project. And I select my group and I want to have the sync mode selected and I'm going to choose a length of four bars as that's the length of my loop. Sync mode works a bit different from the detect mode. You press the start button and it will start sampling when you start your sequencer. So, it's not, so now it's waiting for me to start the sequencer. So now I have the pattern recorded, let me slice it, go to the slice mode and I'm going to use the manual slicing. Okay, so apply it to the same group, press OK. Okay, so now I'm going to try to play with the slices on top of a drum pattern that I've recorded beforehand and I'm gonna set the polyphony to one of course like always <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna add the bass line as always. Hmm, maybe I can transpose it down a couple of semitones. Yeah, I'm gonna transpose the sample to semitones. So it was in F, now it's in D sharp. Okay, let me mess with the sample a bit more. SP1200 engine and filter and an LFO to the filter. Let's use the synchronized telephone. Yeah. 
thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate it again i remind you to ask questions in the comments and if i get enough questions i'm gonna do a special q a video so i can give more detailed answers don't forget to subscribe of course hit the notification bell follow me on instagram at low heat beats and that's all for now see you soon peace